Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to 7 Daily Sins Grand Cross. Where we talk about what you guys should be doing with your hammers right now. What hammers are versus anvils. How you should be upgrading your gear. And something you should save your anvils for in the future. Because it would definitely help as a free-to-play player. If you're paying for the anvil packs and you're paying for the hammer packs and all that. And you're just like swimming them. Then it doesn't really matter. But this is still a pretty good tip to go for anyways. We're going to jump in. I'm going to explain to you what everything does. And then tell you about what you should be saving towards. So... If you guys don't know, right now we have a 100 day celebration. There's a bunch of ways to get hammers. If you complete these events, you're going to get five hammers. If you complete the training caves, you're going to get hammer. If you do the bingo board, uh, there's hammers in the bingo board as well. Uh, it doesn't show on my bingo board because I wasn't lucky enough to get it there. But hammers are in the game at the moment. So these are the hammers. And five, it takes five of these to increase your stats. So, starting off the basics, if you go to heroes... Everybody needs to increase their gear. Gear is very, very important. So I have a set here of HP defense. If I want to make this set stronger or reroll sets, I would have to use anvils. So let's take something in consideration here. Anything rare and below, so rare gear, uncommon gear, and common gear is rolled with gold. So this is what hammers and anvils are used for. But on the rare and below gear, don't use hammers or anything because it only costs gold to reroll these stats. Even though you have the option for hammers here and you have the option for anvils here, always click on gold. If you do the automatic one, make sure to click on gold and unclick anvils. So this will reroll your stat so that if you use gold, it's gonna either going to be attack or it's going to be pierce rate, crit chance, or crit damage. That's what gold and anvils will roll for you. So on rare and below, only gold. SR gear is only for salvaging, never upgrade gear. SR gear, only plus one it, do it once, plus one, and then stop. Because you're going to go to salvage, kill it, and it's going to give you blue awakening stones. And that's it. You never use this. You never make it plus five. You never make it five star, nothing. That is just pure fodder. Now, when it comes to your SSR gear, this is where everything's important. This is the gear you're going to make into UR. This is the gear that you're going to use anvils on and hammers. So... A starting off set will not have anything when it comes to stats, so you can't use anvils, nothing, until you make it one star. Once you make it one star, it unlocks the first stat. When you make it two star, it unlocks the second bonus. So, when you do get an SSR set, you want to get one that has this green bar at 80% or more. If you're really, really picky, you might want to go for perfect, but it's not really necessary. Something on like HP, I would go for like 2600 or 2700 or higher. I would say 2700 is pretty easy. As you're farming gear, you're going to get those pieces that you need. So once you finally do get a piece that you like, like so, I got 5138 out of 5200. To me, that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. And I got all these stats over here. So on HP gear, you want to roll HP. And the, re the way I got this was by using anvils. So I used an anvil until HP showed up and I was comfortable with it. So this is where anvils are used in your set. Now hammers are worth way more than anvils themselves. So hammers, it costs 5 hammers on an SSR piece to re-roll the percentage. So anvils will give you a chance at getting HP... Regeneration rate, recovery rate, and lifesteal at a random percentage, either 1 to 3 for HP, 2 to 6 for regeneration rate, and etc, etc. So if I use an anvil, it would either pick one of those four and then give you a random percentage. So when you finally come to the point where you got all HP, when should you use hammers? Hammers have a chance at making this higher. So if I were to click on my 2.6 and use 5 hammers, if it succeeded... I would go to 2.7 or higher. It only increases the percentage. It doesn't change the HP into anything else. It only increases what your stat is, your bonus. So once you roll with anvils, this is my advice to you guys. Anvils should be used until you are comfortable at the stat roll you got. For me personally, I want to go 2% or higher. On average and most efficient, only use it on gear that hit 2.5. Anvils are easier to farm. Hammers are not. Hammers are super hard to come by, super rare, and they're not a 100% success rate. So if you use one to increase your 2.6 like I have over here to make it higher, it has a chance of failing and then you lost those 5 hammers. Never, ever, ever use hammers on anything at 2% or below. I would say 2.1 or higher is perfectly fine for hammers if you want to be super efficient you roll it at around 2.5. So I don't have a 2.5 here, but I would use a hammer at 2.5. If you want to be even more luckier than that, 
then go a little bit higher. But remember, you're rolling hammers for 0.5 difference on everything. Anvils should be getting you at 2% or higher. If you have HP 1%, don't you dare use a hammer on that. That is a complete waste. Use anvils to reroll it. This, I will not use a hammer on this. I will use a bunch of anvils to make this 2 point or higher. So, hammers to me have a value of 2.5 or higher. A comfortable place is 2.1. Realistically, because you're not going to get super lucky, it's going to take maybe all 300 anvils to get even 2 point or higher because there's so much variables there. Just make sure that you guys, whatever you're doing the hammers for, is comfortable. My guidelines are anvils get 2% or higher. Hammers only use hammers on 2% or higher. Super efficient is 2.5. Now, do not use hammers right now. Right now, hammers are in the game. You can do the gear gotcha with gold to pull for hammers. So if you go into the gear gotcha, you guys are going to see. Uh, you go to shop, equipment draw. And in the equipment draw, they actually added hammers. So you have a chance, a 0.6% chance of hammers showing up if you pull for this. And most likely, a lot of people are going to spend all their gold right now because there's a salvage event. So once you get your hands on all these hammers, should you be going for them? Should you be using them right away? And uh, My answer is no. I'm personally going to pretend like they don't exist until this happens. So in JP, JP got the hammers. They got the UR set in around October. So in October, the end of October, they got hammers, they got the training caves, they got everything they need in October. And what happened about a little more than a month later, so you have to save your hammers for a little bit over a month. Could be earlier for global, could be two months for global. But if we look at JP, they got this event for hammers and the training caves. So better drop rates and all that, but the hammers here have a 100% success rate. During the event period, when using the hammers, the chance of failure is 0%, and the success rate is 100%. So your hammers will be full force. Anything you want to increase from 2.5 or higher, or finish off the 2.9s you got, you can use the hammers. So this is what I'm going to save my hammers for. I am not going to spend them. I am not using them. I'm not taking the chance of RNG because they're so rare and so hard to come by. And there's not going to be a lot of them. And you have to make so many UR sets for so many different characters. I'm going to be super smart about my hammers. And I'm going to wait for this event. So you have about a month or more to save all the hammers you can get until this event shows up. So save every single hammer you guys get if you want to take this route. This is the free to play route for me. This is me being smart, just like saving all my gold and all my SSR gear for a salvage event. That way I can get all the blue waking stones I need. It's the same idea. There's events that have a 100% success rate for hammers. So my advice to you right now, while there is a salvage event, if you guys are not sure what the salvage event is, it's basically if you go to DN and you dismantle all your SSR gear, SR gear, and below, there's a equipment salvage, super and ultra success rate increase. So you're going to get a lot of these blue awakening stones. So that goes along with the gear gotcha. And this is why I saved all my gold for the gear gotcha and the salvage event at the same time. And the thing I just showed you, the equipment draw, this is where I'm going to spend all my gold. I'm definitely dropping 100 million gold because I need 40 million to increase the gear, to upgrade a couple of characters, to make UR sets that cost 500,000. So I'm not going to do all 140, but I'm definitely going to drop 100 million gold on this. And there's that gear gotcha. You just click how much you want to do. Infinite, use keys, uh, auto salvage, rare, uncommon, common gear. So while you're doing this, you're going to get a chance at a bunch of hammers. The chances of them showing up is not super rare, but if you guys ever done the gear gotcha, you have seen these blue awakening sh stones up here once in a while. So you're going to get yourself a nice handful, a handful of these hammers. So I would do it now while the salvage event is going on. That way you guys collect blue awakening stones, you collect anvils, you collect hammers, and you get all this gear ready for when your characters come out to be turned into UR sets. You're ready to make those sets perfect. So now that you guys know how everything works and the hammers are there, this choice is up to you. You could use hammers right now to increase your CC or play the long run game and get to the point where everybody else is going to be, especially if they're spending money. So hopefully something here helped you guys out. This is the hammer trick. Uh, it's not much of a trick. It's just being patient, being smart. You know what I mean? If you don't have a lot of hammers and you only have like 20, that means you're going to do four rolls. Imagine how much you went out of your way to get those, farm, do the events, get lucky in the gear gotcha, just to see all four of them fail, and it's like you never had any hammers at all. So, 
It's up to you guys what you're going to do with this. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.